Hello, good morning students. Welcome back to our channel where we have our English lessons. My name is Teacher Fernanda. I'm very happy and grateful to be here with you today in another class. I hope you are fine. I hope you are doing safe and sound at home. I hope your family is all right as well. So let's begin our class then. Today we've got grammar class as you can read. Today's grammar class is going to be about possessive pronouns and we're going to check about what are possessive pronouns, how they're used, and the kinds of, possess of possessive pronouns there are. And let's start our class then. So what are possessive pronouns? Possessive pronouns are words which give ownership to someone or something. They are pronouns so they substitute known phrases and avoid repeating information that has been made. So possessive pronouns uh, are used to give ownership to someone or something ab above someone or something. For example, we've got Lily here and we've got Lily's jacket. So Lily is the owner of this jacket here. So we can say that that jacket is hers. Yes, her. It belongs to Lily. So the owner of this jacket is Lily. The possessive pronoun here is hers. We're going to check the possessive pronouns in a moment. So don't worry, don't get confused. And those possessive pronouns are used when we want to, to show that we own something or we are related to someone in a way. They are pronouns, so they substitute noun phrases and avoid repetition. So in a sentence, pronouns are used to avoid repetition of, of nouns in a sentence. So that's how we're going to use them also when we're going to, to write or talk about something. Well, let's, check, let's check that out. We've got an example here. The example is, those cookies are mine. So, mine is the possessive pronoun here, mine. Okay, it means that the cookies right here, they belong to me. I am the owner of those cookies. So those cookies are mine, all right? So that is how we use possessive pronouns in these cases, by showing ownership of the things or relationship to the people that is around us. Here is the table of possessive pronouns. Pos the personal pronouns are in the left side here. And the possessive pronouns that correspond to the personal pronouns are in the right side. So the personal pronoun, uh, the personal pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, you, but here we have you in singular and plural is the same. Well, it's not the same, but we, they they use this, the same possessive pronouns. So in that in the, in that case, they are the same. You and they. The possessive pronouns for these personal pronouns are the next. For I, we use mine. For you, we use yours. For he, we've got his. For she, we've got hers. For it, we've got its. For we, we've got ours. And for they, we've got theirs. So the possessive pronouns are going to be mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. So possessive pronouns avoid repetition. As every pronoun, pronouns avoid repetition in a sentence by replacing the nouns in a sentence that may be repeated. For example, in this case, this cell phone is my cell phone, it's not your cell phone. So here we're using the word cell phone three times. We have this cell phone, one, is my cell phone, two, it is not your cell phone, three. So, to avoid that repetition, we're going to use possessive pronouns. You can see in this sentence, we say three times cell phone. The sentence is correct, as, I, as it is correct, but it does not sound good. It, it sounds wrong because we are using a lot of repetition in this sentence. So, that is why we're going to use possessive pronouns in this case, which is the noun. The noun here is, possess is, the, is the cell phone. One, two, and three. This is the noun. When we use the possessive pronouns, we avoid repeating the noun, in this case, the cell phone. Let's check out the result of using possessive pronouns in this sentence. So here is the result of using possessive pronouns in the sentence. This cell phone is mine. 
it is not yours. <coughs> the possessive pronouns mine and yours substitute the possessive adjectives and the nouns. So in this case, <coughs> the possessive pronouns are going to substitute, to substitute the phrase my cell phone and your cell phone because we already know that we're talking about a cell phone. So if I say this cell phone is my cell phone, it is not your cell phone. So I, I we already know that we're talking about a cell phone, all right? But we need to take out the rest of the of the cell phones in this sentence. You, we only have to use one to know what we're talking about, which is the first one. This cell phone. Okay, we know we're talking about a cell phone. <coughs> it is mine. So it belongs to me. It is not yours. It is not your cell phone. It's my cell phone. Okay? So by putting this instead of the phrase my cell phone and by putting this pronoun instead of the whole phrase your cell phone, we can avoid a lot of repetition. Why? Because we already know we're talking about a cell phone. Okay, so there's no need to repeat the word cell phone again and again and again. Okay, so that is how we're going to use the possessive pronouns instead of noun phrases. This cell phone is mine. It belongs to me. It is not yours. It, is, it doesn't belong to you. So here, by, by using just one word, we can replace these three words. Mine substitutes my cell phone, your substitutes your cell phone. So it is very simple, just taking out the whole phrase and putting the possessive pronouns here. We've got singulars and plurals, and here we can know that possessive pronouns are always the same for singular and plural nouns. For example, we're going to look at, at the next examples, but they are the same for singular and plurals. The singular for pencil, for example, here. Jack is, well, m sorry, it's mostly like Jack is asking, is this your pencil? Okay, it's asking about one pen pencil and singular. Yes, it is mine, it belongs to me. Okay, but we're using the pronoun mine when asking about one pencil in singular. Then we've got the words in plural. Are these your color pencils in plural pencils? Yes, they are mine, okay? It's the same for singular nouns and for plural nouns. <coughs> Why do we say this? Because we don't want to use. Is this your pencil? Yes, it is my pencil. Are these your color pencils? Yes, they are my color pencils. We already know we're talking about color pencils or about pencils. So to avoid the repetition of saying pencil again and again and again, that is how we use possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns do not have an apostrophe. So we're not going to use apostrophes with possessive pronouns. So for example, if a person asks, is that car yours? Is that car hers? Is that car ours? Is that car theirs? It is correct to use it like this. We are not going to use an apostrophe. For example, in this case, as it, it was, is that car yours with the, an apostrophe? Is that car hers with an apostrophe? Is that car ours? Is that car theirs? No apostrophe in possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns just use the S at the end, but they don't use an apostrophe. Here we have, the as a summary, that, as I said previously, possessive pronouns, there are, the, there are some forms of expressing possession, okay? When something is uh, it's ours, when, when, we have, when we have something as our possession. One of the most common is using possessive pronouns. And here we have that they have to be in accordance to the subject, okay? For example, if I'm talking about I, if something is, is from I, 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 own, I own something, then the possessive pronoun is going to be mine. If it's something that is of you, then it's something yours. 
if it's something that belongs to her, to, for example, a girl named Melissa, then it's going to be hers. If it's something of Jorge, it's going to be his. If it's something of my family, it's going to be ours. If it's something of your family, it's going to be yours. And if it's something about Melissa's family, it's going to be theirs. All right, it has to, to be in accordance to this subject we're using. In this case, if it's a girl or a man, or if you're talking about yourself, or you, if you're talking about uh, another person or an animal, you have, to, you have to use the correct pronouns according to the subject you're talking about. They do not change with the item animal person that it's possessed. No matter if it's male or female, singular or plural, as I showed you before, it doesn't matter if it's singular or plural, male or female, we're going to use the same pronouns according to the subject we're using. The form of possessive pronouns is always the same. It doesn't change. Possessive pronouns, and we have here another picture that shows us what I told you previously. They are for, to summarize the information I gave you. Possessive pronouns are words used to indicate that something belongs to someone or has a, rela a direct relationship with someone else. For example, her parents were far more liberal than mine. Here we're talking about my parents. So her parents of her, of a person, were far more liberal than mine, than my parents. It's, it's will be repetitive to use. Her parents were far more liberal than my parents. We're not, we already know we're talking about parents. So to avoid the repetition of saying parents twice, we're going to use the possessive pronoun mine. You probably picked up my keys instead of yours. So here we're going to use the possessive pronoun yours because again, if we said, you probably picked up my keys instead of your keys. We already know we're talking about keys, but here we care about whose keys we're talking about. So here we're talking about your keys, yours, the ones that you belong, that belong to you, sorry. His. You probably picked up my keys instead of his. So here again, we're talking about keys. We already know we're talking about keys, so we're not going to repeat the word keys again and again. Instead of writing, you probably pick up my keys instead of his, his keys. So we're not going to use the word keys twice. That's why we use the possessive pronoun, we're, because we already know that we're talking about the keys that belong to him. Your account of events does not correspond with hers. We already know we're talking about an account of events, so we're not going to write your account of events does not correspond with the account of events of her. So we're, that's why we are going to, to replace the word, the word, all this phrase of account of events with the word hers because we already know what, that we're talking about this. We're using the possessive pronoun hers. Your dormitory is not better than ours. So here we know we're talking about dormitories here. So to avoid saying your dormitory is no better than our dormitory. So we already know we're talking about dormitory here. So we're going to replace the word dormitory or dormitory with ours, with the possessive pronoun ours, than the dormitory that belongs to us. His view eventually prevailed or, over theirs. So again, instead of writing, his view eventually prevailed over their view. So here we're replacing the word their view because we already know we're talking about views with the pronoun theirs, the view that belongs to them. And yours, our house is not comparable with yours. So it is the same case. Instead of writing, our house is not comparable with your house. We know we're talking about houses. So we are going to replace the word your house with the word with the pronoun yours all right with that noun phrase because we already know we're talking about houses all right so that will be this these possessive pronouns and how are they used for example here is singular and here is the is the usage of plurals here in this case 
but these possessive pronouns are used to replace the whole noun phrase so it doesn't get repetitive and repetitive. So we're going to use to demonstrate ownership of something or a direct relationship with someone, but with, with avoiding repetition at the same time. So students, that will be all for today. I hope you, you've had an interesting class. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us and we will be very happy to help you. I hope you had a beautiful day and we'll see you later.